just after, what is it, was seven years since the church was burnt down. And we have now moved into a more attractive building and a more useful building. In fact, uh, stage one was to build the main church itself where we hold all of the meetings with the children and young people and, and adults. And that's been fantastic. We've great acoustics in here now. So many people have been involved in this little building. Uh, it's been such an encouragement to us. And we were able, just the last part of this section, to be able to tile what is the pulpit area and the baptistry, just in time for the first baptism. I don't know whether you remember or not, actually, the, the lettering we got from Ireland, from a firm, Christian firm in Balamina, who actually gifted us the lettering, not knowing the size or anything, and yet it is It's actually a talking piece here in the village as to where it all came from and what it's been all about. So that's been phase one. Phase two, this year, again with the help of a number of folk there in Ireland and one church in particular um, has allowed us to now move into phase two. Phase two has been the construction of toilets, facilities, an office and also a kitchen area to the rear. But the idea would be one day to follow these stairs up and have three classrooms on the second floor. Um, but meantime, we're able to finish what we've got here. But there's nothing of its kind here in the village of Edie. Uh, we're thrilled with the facilities we now have. And that, of course, will allow us to do so much more as far as ministry is concerned. We have a fabulous kitchen area here now, which is be the envy of many churches in Ireland. And then an open area for washing and dishes and everything else towards the towards the rear. So we've made uh, probably the best possible use of space on what is a 200 square meter site. Mm. And it feels so much bigger actually when we're in here. So yeah, we're very pleased. And it's a, a great opportunity for Pastor Richard and his wife, Fanny, as they have taken on the role now of full-time workers here. And uh, we're thrilled at all that they have been able to do as well. So. Bueno, eh, estamos trabajando aquí en Pueblo de Ite, eh, más o menos los habitantes de este Pueblo de Ite son eh, 5.000. Uh, we are here working in, in the town of Ite. The inhabitants of the town are more or less 5,000 people, but the majority are from other places. Here in Ite, they mainly work on the land and depend on agriculture. So local people are mainly dedicated to keeping livestock on the land. They spend much of their time just working. In order to share the gospel of God, it is necessary to go to these places. So the church is working in this town, and its purpose is to be able to take the word of God to the places where they are living, and to help them understand that God is great and loving. So we are in this work. Yeah, we'll be to have two, two smaller classrooms there, and then a slightly bigger classroom here, and another one over there. So. Still lots to be done, um, in every sense of the word, but we thank God for his faithfulness, and all the provision actually, everything we have here. So many people, as I say, involved at so many different levels, individually, and uh, small groups, and also uh, churches, so it's been fantastic.